I know that this goes here because I scored the edge. That's just a guide. And here's the beginning of the next stripe. So what I'm going to try and do is just work on um, these areas to make them lighter. The silicone tool works really well for this. And, you know, again, I'm working with oils now. Here are the two paintings side by side and as you can see they're they're coming along and um, but this is a stage that uh, proves to be most challenging to me because I have to really slow down and start to look at all the things that are going on right now and whether my paintings um, left or right panel whether they should stay together as a diptych whether they can stand alone whether they should stand alone um, you know, what are the problems that I see? What, what is it about each panel that's keeping me from feeling at peace? The looser I am in the early stages of a painting, um, sometimes I can lead to a lot more challenge later on, especially during these final stages. And I think that's one of the reasons why I've grown to love that approach because I know that at the end, um, I will have created some major problems. And if I keep mixing up the way that I start, that I know that the types of problems I have at the end will always be different and a different challenge. And so I like that and that's why I continue to challenge myself in the way that I get started. Sometimes that might mean uh, limiting my colors, having a limited color palette, or maybe not limiting my colors. Um, that would be the opposite. Um, it can just lead to a lot of different ways to push myself. So right now I'm looking at these two panels side by side and I feel like the left one um, is a little bit more strong than the one on the right. I'm going to turn each panel around. Um, so in other words, I have to look at them as a pair, but I also have to analyze each one individually because at this point I'm really not, I don't feel like they need to stay as a diptych. Each one has kind of taken on a life of its own. The one on the right has a lot more um, shapes that go outside of that banded rectilinear form, whereas the one on the left has pretty much stayed that way. And I may just develop each one independently now. I'm, I'm really not sure, but until I make that decision, I just want to look at them together. But I still have to rotate each panel uh, 90 degrees, um, keep doing that until I've seen all four views and all the different combinations.